Hey guys, here's a quick Amsterdam update. Uh, checking out what's going on here in the EU. Uh, our projects took a little bit of a hit because we were exhibiting at our first boat show trade show last week, Boat Holland in Leeuwarden. Um, there we uh, met with quite a lot of folks, a lot of interest for the EVTV product line. Uh, definitely still people need to get used to that lithium pricing, but uh, I'm sure we'll get them along, spread the love. In our project news, I'm sitting here in the 818, uh, happy to report we can now actually steer the front uh, wheels and we should have her on wheels and make this into a push cart, almost a go-kart, uh, probably by say end of next week or the week thereafter. Now we're missing some of the good donor parts, got sent some of the things we didn't need, but um, hey, that's the brakes. In Delta news, we received our much talked about new prop and we can switch to installing that baby just now. Today was testing day and uh, we weren't quite able to make it in the time allotted to us by weather and kids <laughs> and wives. <laughs> so we will have to wait and see what this new prop will do for our Delta rocket. But as we have almost 50% more blade to the water, we should definitely be getting much more power kilowatts out through the prop. Uh, the original prop, we were stuck at about 72 kilowatt. And we're hoping to get the full 120 kilowatt out with this new prop on the Delta. It's going to be exciting. So. I'm going to put down the Tyler. Let's get it. Let's take a look. So sadly that day took a little longer than we thought, having to push the uh, original shaft in a little further, making room for the new larger prop and making sure that it doesn't hit the rudder. And after a full day of wrenching and fitting, uh, it was a little late and a little windy to go out and test, but we have her all uh, loaded and charged and ready to go and should be experiencing that, um, that new sensation tomorrow morning, actually, if the weather holds. So. Fingers crossed, and who knows, I might be able to send a little bit of an extra update for this week's. Otherwise, uh, uh, we should have you by next week's episode and seeing what that new top speed is going to be like um, and whether we can cruise at uh, three to 4,000 RPMs with less vibration. That'll be exciting. In EVTV shop news, uh, there's a couple of really cool uh, projects that we're uh, delivering the batteries for. Uh, there's a Vectrix motorcycle in Ireland that's coming up. That'll be in close to Damien's territory. And there is a personal submarine in France. Now that's going to be exciting. Uh, Pierre Jean of Paris, France is getting uh, eight batteries to start with, the 60 amps. And he will be testing if he can do the same trick he did with lead acid batteries, which was put them in a battery box filled with a non-conductive oil and this would help him uh, um, with the pressure situation as they go down. Um, so, you know, he's gonna experiment with that and he'll keep us updated. I'm very excited to see that where that'll go. Um, I have heard this story that our cow batteries are in fact used by the um, Chinese submarine fleet. Not sure if that's a story, a rumor, or the actual truth. Maybe somebody can update me on that. But now we do know that there will be at least one French submarine sporting the Calb CA series. 
EPTV Amsterdam also has an updated uh, email address. You can now reach us at sales at EPTVAmsterdam.eu. Um, I would have loved to have gotten you the EPTV.eu, uh, a little easier on the typing skills there, but um, somebody has a little placeholder domain name uh, and wants a ridiculous amount of money for it. So instead of spending uh, all our cash on that, we'll get some more batteries in stock and be able to serve you quicker. Hey, that's about it for this week's update. Uh, I hope next week is more action-packed. Delta at high speed, uh, probably a new mountain bike project that we've got going on, being in the Amsterdam and the Dutch bike guys and all. And, uh, um, you know, keep on building. We'll keep building. See you soon.